to Code Rush Feature of the Week. So Mark, what have we got this week? This week I'm going to show you uh, some Code Rush features built around regions. Oh, regions. Okay, so some people love them, some people hate them, but for those that do like them, they're quite useful for organizing your code into sort of different sections. Yes, that's right. You can certainly organize, and, and you know, I see both sides of the argument on this, um, but to uh, we'll save that for, a, for another video. Uh, sure. Instead, let's go on. Assuming you, you uh, find regions useful, uh, and if you don't, you might watch the video anyway because you might... Uh, see something that uh, that that you like. Um, okay. So the first thing I'm going to show you is a template for creating new regions, and uh, and that template is just re. So I'm going to type in re like that, and uh, it happens to suggest what's on the clipboard if you have something on the clipboard for the name of the mm -hmm. region. Uh, yep. However, I'm going to just type in something new here, and I'm going to say, uh, for example, uh, creation. Yep. And now I've created my new region, and uh, that's what it looks like right there, right? And now that I've created that, I can put uh, different members inside of there. So one way I could move a member in is I can hit uh, the cut key at the beginning of it, like Control X, and then come up here and paste it in. And so, so that's a smart cut that we've got. We've done a video on that before. That's uh, grabbing the whole of that member without you having to have selected it in the first place. Exactly. And so I can just come down here and I can just hit the cut key on the piece that I want to take and, and paste it in to move it in. So mm -hmm. that's the region. Now, one of the um, problems with regions is expanding and collapsing is, is kind of painful in terms of number of keys you have to press. Yeah. Uh, it's so painful we created a better way to do it and I've completely forgotten the painful way. I think it's something like... <laughs> Control M M or something. I'm not sure. In fact, why not? I never remembered that keystroke. To be honest, I would always reach for the mouse and I'd be over on that little minus thing trying to collapse it. And obviously, that's a huge waste of time because my hands have to leave the keyboard at that point. Right. So something simpler would definitely be useful. Yeah. So I have verified it is Control M M at least on this particular uh, install of Visual Studio. However, um, the the fix for that pain is simply the space bar. So if you put the caret right here at the beginning of the region keyword, right there, right, and now hit the space bar, it'll collapse it. And if you hit it again, it'll expand it. So we nice. have very fast uh, toggling. Now I also want to show you, let's go into the Coderish Options dialog. And um, one of the ways that you can discover features is you can go into the Options dialog, and in the search box right here, you can type in, uh, the feature you're searching for. So for here, yep. for example, we can type in the word region. And notice a number of option pages come up. One of them is code cleanup, both for Visual Basic and C Sharp. Uh, and uh, another one is uh, the move to region, which I'll show you in a moment. And then this last one here is region painting, which I'll show you right now. We'll go ahead and clear this out here so um, the, we get rid of that yellow highlighting. So here, um, the option enable region painting is checked. Uh, I'm going to change it to, to classic uh, so you can see the difference between that. Uh, I'll click uh, OK, and uh, we'll collapse this region right here. And you can see there's what it looks like there under classic when it's collapsed. And when we expand, uh, it looks like this with these mm -hmm. uh, distinct arrows here. Now, you, one sure. of the options you may have noticed there is we can turn off those uh, arrows. So we can do that as well. And then now when we come in here uh, and we expand and we move away, it looks like this. So I note that the painting that we're doing in, in any variation isn't present when we're trying to edit the actual region, the text of the keyword itself and the region itself. So it's all perfectly clear. That's just taken away to allow you to focus on the editing itself. But when we move away, the regions basically fade slightly into the background yes. with a slight emphasis on, on the phrase itself, in this case, creation, so that we can see what it is, but they don't get in the way. Right. One of the reasons why I think regions were really hated by a lot of people is it added this visual noise. When the feature was first introduced, um, the region uh -huh. keyword had the same emphasis and uh, saturation as uh, another keyword. So it, it, yeah. looked, it was like a bright blue. If your, your keywords were in this bright blue or this dark saturated blue, uh, you'd see yep. the same here. And it would be this extra kind of noise. So, mm -hmm. so I want. Uh, so, so let's. So that's the painting. That's a little bit about the region painting. 
Let's go back and look at um, what was up with um, move to region, which is right here. And yep. this uh, uh, allows you to specify some favorite regions. And I've just specified some here, creation, destruction, and serialization. And uh, then some options in terms of where you want to put the, the code when you move it into that region. And uh -huh. um, so now I can do that. And now I can come in here uh, and let's do one other thing. Let's turn on member icons. And uh, for a moment, we'll turn off metrics here. So just to simplify this. So now I've got member icons over here in the front. By the way, the metrics, if I turn those on, they sh they'll show up over here or at the beginning if we have space at the beginning. But I'll turn those off, like I said. And now with the member icons, I can click on a member if my hands are on the mouse and I can choose move to region. And then it defaults to uh, the regions that I've already specified here. So I can select one of the yep. ones, even if that region doesn't exist. And so in this nice. case, it'll create the region for me. There you can see it's done that for me. Uh -huh. um, but if I were to, uh, for example, uh, rename this uh, to my uh, Blasto Magic region, uh, and uh, we were to then uh, come over here and click on this and say uh, move to region, you can see there Blasto Magic is now in the uh, list of possible regions. Nice. So the prompted list that you're being given there is a combination of your favorites as specified in your settings and any that you might already have in the file that might not be necessarily part of those favorites. Exactly. And, uh, and so that's uh, a little bit about regions. They also showed up in, um, uh, I just want to go back and just to point out, they also showed up in uh, code cleanup, but uh, we'll cover this in a separate feature of the week video. Um, for now, I, I just want to leave you with the, those features for creating new regions. You've got that RE template that makes it very fast to create one. And you've got this options page that allows you to specify uh, important regions to, that you frequently use among your different source code files so that you can quickly move methods into those regions to better organize um, your code. Fantastic. So reach, regions, whether you like them or hate them, Actually, they are around. Actually, worry, love them or hate them, it just occurred to me even if you hate regions, this feature of being able to collapse or expand is awesome, If you, especially if you hate regions, right? Because right. let's say you're looking at somebody else's code that's filled with regions, you no longer have to go reach for the mouse to open them up. You can just hit True. that space bar and work your way through it. So I'm sorry, Roy, you were, you were wrapping up and I jumped in in the middle of your awesome wrap up. <laughs> go ahead. Well, I just want to say, love them or hate them, they are around, they're part of the language, and again, you're always going to have to work with someone else's code eventually. So what better thing to do than to provide yourself with a tool which gives you a way to deal with these even easier. Create them easier, manipulate them easier, uh, move your code in and out of them much more simply. So again, once again, Code Rush making li your life simpler. Awesome. So thanks very much, Mark. We'll see you next week on Code Rush Feature of the Week. For more Feature of the Week videos, click one of the two video links on screen or select from our playlist. Download and learn more about Code Rush from the DevExpress website. And be sure to subscribe to our channel to receive all the latest Code Rush feature videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.